Well, everybody, outrage over Florida's parental rights and education bill, dubbed the Don't Say Gay Bill, continues. And nationwide discriminatory practices targeting trans youth are on the rise. So how should brands that we love react? Jess Weiner, host of the podcast Dominant Stories, joins us now live via Zoom to weigh in and give us some perspective. Jess, good morning to you. Good morning, Melvin. So, Jess, I mean, what do you think? You consult to some of the biggest brands. How do you think and how would you advise that folks, business owners, be responding at a time like this? I'll tell you exactly what I'm telling some of the world's biggest brands right now. You can't afford not to have an opinion on these issues, especially if you're a business, a company that markets to children, targets families, you know, has sort of these big values out in the world. This is a time to make a stand. And not only, Melvin, you know, is this important for their internal employee base, but it's really important for their consumers as well. And this generation of consumers has a very long memory when brands don't get this right. We're just a couple of months away from June. Everyone's gonna be planning their pride marketing campaigns. You can't do that as a brand without taking a stand on this issue right now. I mean, look, cause d discrimination and not standing up against discrimination can ultimately be horrible for your business. It's really bad for business and it's really bad for internal morale for keeping and retaining employees. We saw this with the way the Disney, uh, you know, lash out happened from internally, you know, right? their, their workforce said to CEO Bob Chapik, what you said is not good enough for us. It needs to be specific. It needs to be proactive. And that was led predominantly from the inside. So I understand Melvin and I've worked with brands over 20 years. There used to be a time where they didn't take a stand on issues like this. That is not this time now. The world has changed. Brands need to change with it. And you just can't afford to not say something. You have to remember, this is not actually not a political issue. This is a personal one. This impacts the mental health and well-being of your employees, of your executives, and most of all, their children. Absolutely. And I love that point, too, that this is personal, not only for the consumer, but also internally for the employee as well. Yeah, 71% of trans and non-binary youth right now, Melvin, say they're scared about the future. Over 85% of them say this debate we're having on state laws are, is negatively impacting their mental health. And I think those numbers are, are low in the poll, but they should just give us some perspective. Numbers aside, these are kids we're talking about. And if you're a company that markets to kids and families, you have to take a stand for all families on this. And so I'm hoping and expecting that even the brands I work with are going to be more public in their declaration. I mean, um, and resistance for these discriminatory measures. Yeah, I mean, and so what are you saying to, I mean, some of the businesses, I'm sure some of your clients could potentially be saying to you, like, what do I say, or what is the best way to handle it? What language or verbiage do I need to be using? How do you respond to them? What do you tell them? I tell them to avoid SFSN. You know, that's my favorite phrase. It sounds fabulous. <laughs> I love that it acronym. signifies nothing. <laughs> so, you know, you can't just say, like, we believe in equality for all or we have these values. No, you need to act on those values, you need to be specific because people are listening, consumers are listening. But again, your employees and your executives are listening. So be specific, be clear. And by the way, Melvin, it's a time for brands and businesses to be bold. This is how you engender the relationship to the next generation of consumers. And by the way, it's just the right thing to do right now. Absolutely. You know, and you got to do the right thing when it's the right thing. So thank you so much for being with us this morning. As always, Jess, we love your perspective. Thank you. I'm happy to be here with you. Happy Tuesday to you. And uh, hey, everybody, you don't have to wait for more words of wisdom. You can catch Jess on her Dominant Stories podcast right now. That's through Shondaland. It's so powerful. It's so inspiring. And um, good uh, medicine for all of us right along through here. Great antidote to our daily life.